meet Mark. He is a very enthusiastic tech person and entrepreneur. Recently, he has launched a software solution business. But since he had just finished his graduation and has no expertise in the domain of business operations, business management or infrastructure development, he requires a thorough business assessment and planning. And while carrying out this assessment, the first question that stuck him being a software developer is how can I create and scale up the software development infrastructure? Now, consider a few factors here. Mark has less financial assets since his business is in its very early days. He cannot hire a large team. He only has limited IT resources and the amount of projects that he can count on is totally unpredictable. All these factors are roadblocks for the expansion of Mark's development suit. That's when he heard about the term cloud computing. But before directly investing his limited financial resources into cloud, he thought of assessing difference between on-premise and cloud infrastructure. The first factor he thought of is scalability. When it comes to scaling up physical infrastructure, you'll actually have to purchase more physical resources which in turn means more expenditure. Not only that, but when you scale up, scaling down becomes very difficult and often leads to heavy loss. Cloud computing, on the other hand, allows you to pay just for what you utilize, rendering scaling up and down much easier and faster. The second factor he thought about was servers. On-premise systems require huge and secure space in order to store servers. For the extra dimension of security, you'll also have to hire a security and maintenance team. On the contrary, cloud service provides you with the direct access to virtual servers that they manage and maintain themselves, saving you both space and lots of money. In case of data loss, data recovery from on-premise systems becomes increasingly difficult. On the flip side, Cloud systems have robust disaster recovery measures in place to guarantee faster and quickest data recovery. After this analysis, Mark knew that cloud is the highway to go for and he started researching about the cheap cloud service options. That's about the time when he first heard about the term OpenStack which helps in building private or public clouds. Now, to put things into perspective, OpenStack is a collection of software modules called projects that work together to create and manage private or public cloud infrastructure. Now, public cloud is something that public sector companies could go for. For instance, consider it as a public transport bus which can be used by anyone. Whereas, private cloud is statically designed for a specific purpose and cooperation, just like a private vehicle that you own. Next thing about OpenStack is it's provided as Infrastructure as a Service or IaaS. Basically, IaaS is a cloud service model where users get access to basic computing infrastructure. OpenStack as a IaaS will pool, provision and manage storage, network resources and computing. So now the question is, why would Mark want to use OpenStack? Remember. In order to run multiple applications or operating systems, organizations often turn towards virtualization, which enables the use of multiple softwares or operating systems without any direct installation using the tools like hypervisor. This virtualization also allows abstraction of computing resources from physical hardwares such as servers. Now, once you install the OpenStack framework over the top of virtualized environment, it formulates the cloud operating system and broadens this pool of resources to support many users from web and application hosting to big data tasks. So, with OpenStack, Mark won't have to purchase any service. Rather, he could build the software development niche all by himself based on his needs. The service of OpenStack is completely free under the Apache 2.0 agreement. Not only that, but OpenStack has great industry support. It was developed by NASA and many industry leaders such as IBM, Red Hat, AMD, Intel, etc. have pledged 
their support and have invested heavily in its development. Ease in scalability, compatibility and security are yet few advantages of OpenStack. It also offers an easy to manage panel that provides visibility, control and easy access to power management tools. Due to these particular reasons, OpenStack has been widely adopted across the IT community and hence learning more about it makes sense. On that note, we have come to the end of this video. We hope you found this informative. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to never miss any update from Intellipath.